Welcome to part 3 of my Mixcraft tutorial series. In the last part, I covered how to use virtual instruments and how to write music using them. In this video, I will cover creating orchestrated music using virtual instruments and rendering your songs into MP3 format. I will be as descriptive as I can, but if you have never used Mixcraft before, please revert back to my first tutorial before watching this one. So let's get started. Right now I have opened up a new project. I did not set it on the virtual instrument setting, so I don't have two virtual instrument tracks in the track list on the left side. So I can automatically add them in, of course, by right clicking insert track and virtual instrument. I'm just going to duplicate this and I'm going to delete these other tracks because I don't need them for this project. You could use them in your own projects but in this case it's not necessary. So to create orchestrated songs of course you need uh, authentic sounding instruments. Now Mixcraft does a very good job of creating uh, very um, nice sounding instruments. Some of them do sound artificial and you can find out which ones those are uh, by just experimenting with the different sounds but Mixcraft does give you a lot of tools to tweak the sounds to where they sound uh, authentic and like a real orchestra. So one of the main features to making an orchestra sound authentic is the reverb effect. Now, there's a lot of left and right speaker panning, uh, depending on what side the uh, instrument is of the microphone. So if there's, let's say, uh, strings on the left and then trumpets on the right, uh, you could uh, identify where the sounds are coming from by panning left and right speakers. But you do have to balance it out so one sound doesn't overpower the other. And you can tweak the settings in reverb to make it sound more authentic. So we're going to create a simple tune here, and I'm going to right-click in the blank space, workspace, and I'm going to add instrumental clip, and it's going to create this empty box here. And I'm going to extend the amount of measures. Okay, that's about right. And I'm going to go into the instrument section. Now, I'm going to... Go, I'm going to scroll down to the string section, and the uh, ensemble has very nice sounding instruments. I'm going to select orchestral strings. And once I, uh, if I, uh, um, if I deselect this track, the keyboard, virtual keyboard on the bottom will go away. Uh, let me, there you go. But all you have to do to bring the keyboard back up is just double click the track that you want to work on. Uh, this also helps for when you want to edit a sound uh, that you already uh, made or you want to tweak some notes, just double click it and it'll open it up down here on the bottom. And you can adjust the size of the keyboard by dragging this gray bar up and down. You can change the size of um, the workspace too, going horizontal and vertical for the keyboard. I personally like having it at this size just so I can actually see it because um, this does work well as well but uh, it is harder to get precisely where, where the notes you want um, because you have to place the notes very precisely and it does um, become tedious after a while so I'm going to leave it over here and I'm going to create a simple tune here you guys will be able to hear it I'm going to drag this out here. If you select um, a current note in the song already, the uh, bar up here that you can select uh, what size note to, play, to place and how long the note lasts for, it will automatically adjust it to whatever the size of the note you previously clicked on or selected is. So in this case, since I select this uh, note here, which lasts for a whole measure, if I place another note, uh, it automatically fills up a whole measure. So we're going to start. This is going to be uh, more of a cinematic orchestrated piece. Uh, kind of what you would hear in a, an intense movie that uses the uh, epic score. Um, 
so that's kind of what it's going to turn out to be. So I have this first track. If I play it, this is what it sounds like. And we can extend this by pressing the loop button right here. And you can press that as many times as you want. We're just going to do it once. We're going to go down here and add another instrumental track. Again, right click and then select the option from the menu. And we are going to go back to the ensemble section. And we're going to use the uh, octave strings, fast, slow. Um, slow works really well in this case since this is a slower song. I actually am going to change the speed of the song. You can go over here to project and then the tempo of the song you can change. I'm going to change it to from 120 beats per minute to 110 uh, or even 100. So that will slow this song down. And I'm going to place a couple notes here. Hmm, that didn't sound right. That will sound a little bit better. And since this is an octave string, we can place multiple no notes and it will make it sound really nice automatically. So I have a C here. Let me add another one here. Okay, that sounds nicer. So we're going to save this by pressing Control S. You want to get into the habit of saving frequently because losing work uh, does get very annoying because if you work really hard on a song and you forget to save it, uh, sometimes you would not want to recreate that song because uh, that moment of, of amazingness that you get and the inspiration for creating music sometimes is lost when that happens. But Mixcraft does do a really good job of auto-saving and when the program crashes, uh, Mixcraft does a good job of saving backups before it crashes. And you can find them all in your backups folder. You can adjust um, how many backups Mixcraft actually saves, uh, depending on how much space you have on your computer. And that is really helpful. So we're going to add another instrument in here. We're going to insert a new track. Again, virtual instrument. And we are going to see what other instruments they have. Let's try something different than the ensemble. Maybe let's try percussion in the bell section, glockenspiel. We'll try that. So you can just keep playing around with these instruments. I'm going to uh, continue working on this, and I'm going to pause the video really quick and then, and then resume it once I have a little bit more of a song here. So I'll get that going. So what I have here is a few more instruments. I added the French horn and a very deep bass drum sound. And this is what it sounds like. So that sounded pretty nice, but uh, it does sound a bit artificial. Now we can imp improve the quality of the sound by adding the reverb, ef reverb effect. So I'm going to go over to the into the effects section, and I'm going to use the uh, normal reverb effect because the Pro Studio One, um, I would assume most of you do not have unless you have purchased the Pro Studio version of Mixcraft. So I'm going to stick with the normal one. If we go into the settings, up here we have the uh, reverberation, and we can increase that. We don't want to do too much, otherwise you know, the sounds will start getting muddy. But if I just add this to all of them really quick, oh, wrong sound. Flanger's a cool effect, but not what we're looking for. Let's see what this sounds like.
So it sounds nicer, but we can also change the volume of the instruments to have uh, more dynamic sounds to them. So instead of just having the sounds stay at a constant volume, we can tweak that by just clicking on this center line that every every track has. So we can click on the line here, and I'm going to tweak it up just a little bit, or maybe a lot to get that that nice sound that I'm looking for. And also, what you can do instead of if you want to add it um, and duplicate it, instead of ha adding every single dot um, or every single volume change point like I'm doing here, you can also just uh, shorten the track or just copy Control C press somewhere on the line and control V and paste it so it'll automatically place it for you. But now let's change the snap settings really quick. It's on um, 64th notes which is very very fine. Uh, we're going to switch it to 8 in this case. And I'm going to change the French horn ensemble really quick. And, I'm, and what I just uh, said a few seconds ago about duplicating to save time. Um, I will perform that right now. So I'm going to shorten the length of this and I'm going to copy and paste it. If we play the sound again, it'll sound a little bit different. So that definitely sounds a lot nicer. Now you can tweak many of the settings uh, you, like I said earlier, left and right speakers. I'm going to uh, change those very quick to give you an example of what things would sound like. So I'll put the horns on one side, and then I'll put these strings on another. I'll keep the drum in the center, because that's usually where they are positioned in uh, official orchestras. And I'm going to keep the orchestral strings a little bit to the right. So if we listen to this again... So it definitely sounds a lot nicer. Now the more instruments you have, the more noticeable the panning will become. And you can experiment on your own with these sounds and get that precise sound that you're looking for. But that is basically all it takes to create your own uh, orchestrated song in Mixcraft. Um, after a while, creating the music will get easier, and once you get the inspiration, if you have a MIDI keyboard, sometimes it's easier to record that way. and. Uh, using full, full chords definitely comes out nicer in the music and um, it definitely shows it gives the the song a more dynamic feel to it so I'm going to save this again you can press the save icon up here or control C and I'm going to press file and mix down to and here we have a couple settings on uh, rendering the song. I'm going to choose mp3 because that is usually what the song formats are in whenever you're uh, rendering uh, an official music track uh, with vocals um, or any of that stuff. So I'm going to press that and here I have a couple sounds. Uh, these are previous songs that I've made and I'm just going to save this to my desktop. I'm going to call this uh, test orchestrated song 1 and once you press save, a green bar will appear on the bottom and that will show you the progress of the rendering and once it's completed you can have the setting for uh, playing the track automatically after it's finished or you can just go find it and locate it on your desktop. So that is it guys for this tutorial. I hope you found it helpful and if you have any questions please leave them in the comments section below and I'd be happy to help in any way I can. So I'll see you guys next time and in the next tutorial, I will be uh, continuing with the many features that Mixcraft has and getting into more of the advanced features. So thanks for watching, guys, and see you next time.